Hi guys, this is Saurav. So in this video, we will learn about list. Okay, almost all apps are using list like Facebook, like WhatsApp, everyone, right? Like whenever someone open the Facebook friends list, so Facebook will display the friends list. It means they have to display list, right? So there are a lot of apps they are using list option. So same here, like MIT app inventor, we are we also use list okay so how we can use list there are a lot of options in list there are around 22 uh, options like uh, you can modify with the 22 things like create list make a list add item to list there are a lot of things okay so let's do practical on some okay so let's i'm going to create project here list so that's our screen here right so i'm going to drag and drop here one button and one list view this one okay now let's change this button to something like list now let's go to the block okay so click on list option and you can see there are a lot of options now that first option is create empty list okay it means suppose we are creating the app like facebook but the initial stage we don't have any friends right in the uh, account so we will create empty list okay because there is no friend and there is nothing in the list but we know that there will be some option and there will be some user okay and there will be some option in a list so in the initial stage we will create as an empty list okay now second is option is make a list so what is this this is simple it like let's do it okay so uh, how we can use it let's make it with this fill palette like this now whenever someone click on this list we have to display our list okay so go to the block and here we'll find make a list option right so let's create one list now how we can do this just click on this button one on button click okay then we have to display list it means in the list view so here you can see set list view item like this and create make a list here and items we have to put here like this copy and paste it and that one is let's suppose food apple banana and you can add on the there are a lot more lists like just click on the setting option and drag and drop item here like this right and just copy this and paste here all right right let's see how it's work so whenever someone click on this button and here you can see apple banana and orange right now for list and here you can see add item to list all right so what is this like we are adding here an item now how we can use this option that's pretty simple now let's delete this and if you want to add item in a random time right like suppose let's create one empty list it means one variable this slice global variable and make this name list view and list something i need to make it list view and assign this as a create empty list right now call this whenever someone click on the button one so we have to add item on a list in which list in the list view list this one and what item we have to add i'm going to add a one item from my text box so try to drop this here text box and make it fill parent like this now go to the blog click on text box one and here we'll find text box one dot text this so text box one dot text item will add on this one list list view list okay then we have to display this list also so click on list view and here we'll find the set list view item right so set list view item from a list it means get global list view like this now let's run this app and just add some item like uh, let's suppose hello and click on this list here you can say hello right let's suppose add some more item here you can see hello hello too right so here we can add runtime item in a list using this item uh, using this option right now 
let's uh, let's see the length of this list okay here is the see the option of the length of the list how we can use it let's just try and drop this now i just want to know that how many items in this list it means suppose here two option let's suppose i'm to make it here one more it means there's three option now i have to count if suppose around 1000 and 2000 options in a list then how can i count it so that's very easy so i'm going to use here like how facebook count our friends okay so let's click on this button and uh, just drag and drop your label okay so whenever someone click on this button okay so we will display the count of our list right so click on this label and remove the text from here okay and make it zero for now go to the block and whenever someone click on this button one it means an account then click on label one and here we will find set label one dot text is the length of the list now which list so it means list view get global list view. this one list right so here you can see if i click on count option here you can see zero right because there is no list item let's suppose adding some item here in a list there is two option right now let's click on count and you will find here two right let me just go to the design make it as a 30 right so you can see the count properly fine refresh it but here you can see the we are we are not using your database so this uh, list can't st store the items right and let's click on count and you will find one right so that's a very easy method to count the list items right now go to the block now click on list and more option like index what is index index means suppose he can see one item it means the index value is one if suppose i just put another item in a list okay let's put three and click on list he can see two items it means index one value is hello and index two value is hello three suppose i have to get the index value two so how can i get it now let's do it how we can do this now let's i'm going to whenever someone click on button two it means in this count button so i'm going to rename this and get value okay and uh, we will display the value here right so now just click on list and here you will find select list item list and index right so delete this and drag and drop it here and from which list get list view and which index we will use your maths to get this one it means two right so let's see let's click on the get value now there is nothing right now right so this will give us error so let's click on list hello hello five click on list now click on get value here you can see hello five suppose now let's do something that uh, i'm to make your one more text box okay to get the particular value whenever i just type here something like suppose so what we i'm to delete this and click on text box one dot text here you'll find this one so it means what will happen here suppose let's let's add one more item hello hey two and hey three right now we just need to type here one two and three anything let's suppose three and click on this cat value you will find here we get h e three let's suppose type here one so we will get h e right so there are a lot of options in the list okay so in other video we will learn about more about list right so make sure you have to learn practical on that so right so you will comfortable with the list right so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me on command have a nice day be safe bye bye please 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 don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share this video